Hello, everyone. I'm going to wait for some of you guys to come on. Oh, wow, it's cold out. I was going to walk outside because it's better lighting. But it is very, very cold out there. It, um, it has been raining a lot today. It's been very, very rainy. Hi, two people are on here. Oh, my gosh, yay. This place is kind of messy. Um, this is my parents' home. I'm here again. If you were with me last week, I'm going to be doing... Yes, puppies! Oh my gosh, yes, you're with me. So if you were with me on here last week, we were here, and I actually am back at my parents, even though I live in Los Angeles, and they are in San Diego, because yesterday we went to go pick up some puppies. So let's go show you guys those now, because I know that's why you're all here. You're not here to see me. Um, can we flip it? Oh, we can. Yeah. Okay, so these are two little baby Papillon puppies. We're thinking of naming this one Oliver, Hi, Ollie. like Ollie, and this one <laughs> Finnegan, Finn, little gremlins, yes. So my last dog w that passed away this time last year was also a Papillon, and his name was Gizmo from the movie Gremlins. Well, Rest day. I haven't slept much because of these puppies, but I'm taking a little rest. Oh my gosh, you guys, are you still with me? The service is so crappy here. We live under, you know, down a hill in San Diego. I need to switch. Wow, you guys are seeing some not so great angles of me. Um, but we live down a hill here in San Diego. And so sometimes the service is just not very good. But I was telling you, I played you a song last week that I wrote about my last dog, Gizmo. And um, the crazy story about these two little puppies, actually, is that they are related to Gizmo. They are distant cousins. So Gizmo passed away when he was 17, 16, 17 years old. And my dad was recently like looking into the woman that we got him from. We got him from a place in Northern California, this woman, Eleanor McDonald. And um, he found out that Eleanor, you know, she was really old at the time that we got the, um, we got Gizmo as a puppy. And she moved from, uh, you know, Northern California to Florida. And my dad discovered that she is now like 90 years old and entrusted all of her puppies to this man like 45 minutes away from where my parents live. So my dad looked into it and he had, oh my gosh, he had four puppies and they are related to Gizmo. My soul dog, love of my, he keeps trying to grab my hair. Okay, love of my life dog. So we couldn't, we couldn't not get them, you know, we couldn't, we had to get these dogs, basically. We just had no other choice, essentially. So, um, so this is Oliver, and that's Finn again, so Ollie and Finn, and uh, that's the little story, and I wanted to just introduce them to you guys this week. It's New Year's Eve, so puppies are always great. Oh yeah, they thought, show them the little runt. So this little runt puppy, they thought he wasn't going to make it because he was the littlest of the litter. That's Finn. Mm -hmm. He has such a big personality, too. He's kind of turned into a little girl. Yeah, he's a little bit of a devil, um, especially to this bigger guy. But um, they thought he wasn't going to make it, so he, he was like, you know, they didn't even take him to the vet. They just thought he wasn't going to make it because he was so little and he wasn't eating. But he made it, and he's actually like the most rambunctious of all of the puppies. But I wanna take you and show you them running around. I hope you guys have joined me on here. Um, you know, like I said, the service isn't great here, so it takes me a bit of time to log on from shirt dog. San Diego. What? Shirt dog. He has the shirt dog. Hi. So let's take them down to show, is it, I mean, it's been kind of pouring here, so there's a chance they're not gonna be super stoked to be outside, but we can try. Okay, okay, okay. They're so rambunctious. Come on. Let's go say hi to the people. Fan and Ollie. Related to the dog I was talking about last week. They might be a little bit not stoked on the wet grass. Here, let's flip this around. Oh, there we go. 
They're actually a lot faster than they seem. Beck's got to get them going. So I'm gonna, I can't watch them because I'm on here at all. Okay, so see, that's little Finn the runt that I was telling you about, and he terrorizes his brother. He like bites his ears and like it literally attacks him, even though he's like half his size. He seriously like bites him and attacks him, and it's pretty insane. I know this isn't music stuff today, but I'm going to do this every Monday at noon, which is actually turning into 12.15, so I'm sorry if I say it's noon, it's probably 12.15. I'm going to work on that. But um, I'm doing this every Monday, and today is like a day home with family, so I didn't want to miss it, but I wanted you guys to see these little pups. Stop it. Hi. Stop being a brat. And just know that I will be doing more You're music stuff next brat. week on here. I'm performing back at my place, but I plan to uh, I plan to tell you some more about 2018. Hi guys, come here, come here, come here, Ben! Yay! Oh my gosh! Yay! Dogs make us seem so dumb when we talk in that high voice. They love little feet and toes, but then the other one comes up behind and you step on him. Okay, see, he's attacking his brother again. He's asserting his alpha dominance. Do you guys think that Finn and Ollie fit them as names? Or do you have a... I thought Finn again because he's an explorer and Oliver, he's so much sweeter than the other one. So we can say like... You know, consider yourself at home. Consider yourself one of the family. Yes! So if you have any other names... Ow. Ow. Ow! He's biting his head. If you have any other name ideas, let us know. If they seem like Finn and Ollie to you, the adventures of Finn and Ollie, then uh, let me know. But... This is them, my little babies. They're so sweet. They've, they haven't had any accidents in the house. They slept through the whole night and they've pottied outside every single time. They're so smart and so little. Oh my gosh, look. That's Finn. This is Ollie. Hi. Hello, hi. They love to play. Ah, I'm falling. Ollie looks like a little panda to me. So. There they go again. There they go. I don't know if you guys want to see puppies, so I'm learning for this behind oh, the scenes. Yeah, it's sometimes you lose service out here. So it's kind of rainy today and cloudy here in San Diego. I know you guys, I'm not showing myself too much, so I'm sorry. Here's the view. This is me again. Not nearly as great no. as that view. No. Um, no. So, yeah, this no. year, whoa, no. this is kind of intense. They're going to come back. The puppies will be back. Um, so this year has been really great, you know, I, I wrote a post about it on my Instagram, my Facebook, but basically I started for the first time ever releasing the songs that I've written. Um, the first song got heard like 175,000 times and that's just at least what I can track. Um, and I've heard myself on the radio for the first time ever this year. I performed on the radio, um, a magazine that I had 
uh, done a report on in college about like a cover story they did with Taylor Swift, uh, premiered my first lyric video, which was really exciting and kind of just co funny coincidence. I went on my first tour. I shot two music videos. Um, I performed a couple times and sold out a venue that I had like only was like dreamed of playing. I was super excited to play. Um, and I got to play there a few times, but I sold it out. Um, yeah, and it was a pretty great, crazy year. I met a lot of people, collaborated with new people, um, got together a bit of a team to help me with music stuff. Wow, look at this hair, it's just like, sorry guys, today was not a day to get ready, let me tell you. It was a, put on some pink lipstick and called it a day. Um, but I just wanted to say that, you know, t this year has been great. There's been a lot of highs. There's been some lows talking music stuff. Um, it was a struggle for me, if I'm being honest with you guys, to like navigate, you know, the, uh, just navigate the, the highs and lows of the year and like learning how to be in new circumstances and set boundaries and ask for what I want and fight for my vision and balance uh, these new things while being sometimes sick and exhausted or inexperienced, inexperienced and trying to figure it out. So that was kind of the struggle of the year I would say but overall it was a great year and I'm really lucky and, um, and I'm grateful that these songs uh, brought me some of you guys and people into my life um, and reconnected me with family and friends from years ago who contacted me because they felt connected to them. Um, I, yeah, I've gotten to do some really awesome things today because of today, oh my God, this year, because of music and um, I'm grateful. Scenes is one of them. Thank you so much for supporting artists like myself. Um, Hal is amazing, so supportive and a wonderful person. So that's kind of my, my year recap. You can read uh, on my Facebook or Instagram at Kara Connolly, K-R-A-C-O-N-N-O-L-L-Y for more of um, an in-depth kind of like perspective or look at it. Um, and some of my moments, but I felt a lot of those like magical moments this week, this year where you feel um, like everything is right in the world and it just feels amazing and magical and you don't, those don't happen all the time, at least not for me. I want them to happen more. So I'm really grateful for that, that I had more than one of those this year. And I'm really excited to see what 2019 has in store. I have a few things up my sleeve already for it that have been in the planning for several months. Um, that you guys will just see in 2019 and uh yeah i'm pretty stoked for it i my friend delphina had this thought where she said that when you're setting your resolutions for the new year you should say you should look first how you want to feel for the year and then work backwards for there and make your resolutions because she noticed a lot of people make resolutions and then they're like that's not even actually what I wanted or it didn't lead to the feeling that I wanted so she was like first look at you know pick one to three words of how you want to feel this year and then work backwards and create your like you know your resolutions your monthly plan your whatever so I thought about it and how I want to feel this year I want to feel, and it's hard to like, maybe these are not really feelings, but to me they are, so I hope they make sense to you. But I want to feel magic, I want to feel free, and I want to feel in the flow, like in the zone of things where it's just easy and it's coming naturally and flowing and it's not, you know, hitting all of these speed bumps and whatever. So um, that's what I want to feel this year. If you want to tell me what are your three words of how you want to feel, you know, I'm going to work, try to work backwards from there. So if I want to feel, you know, her point was like, if you want to feel magic, if you want to feel free, if you want to feel in flow, anytime you come across someone or something, you know, a project or a person um, where you have to make a decision, you know, you ask yourself, does this person, does this project leave me feeling magic, feeling free, feeling in flow, and if not, you know, you, you let it go. And that sometimes, um, you know, you outgrow certain people, certain situations, certain things, and that can be definitely a challenge, especially for me. I don't, I don't like to let things go. I wrote a whole album about it, and I still have a hard time with it. And I don't like to make, I like to make everyone happy. And um, when I've had to stand up for myself and fight for my vision this year, I had to 
you know, experience a different feeling where I had to accept that I'm not gonna make everybody happy. And as an artist, I think it's our responsibility to like fight for our visions and to stay true to it. Um, everything you see with my music, from the cover art to when it comes out, to the, the promotional campaign, to the songs, to like the writing, you know, to the videos, ideas, everything, to the outfits, to the, that all is me curating it. Um, I'm, I'm posting my own posts on social media. I'm coming up with these ideas. And so for me, that's really important because I want to stay true to myself and I don't want to do things just to do them and just to be like, all right, you know, here they are. Um, so I, I think that when you're an artist, part of that is being like, no, this is what I want to say and not letting yourself get tossed around by people telling you who and what to be. Um, and you know, as a woman in the entertainment industry, you know, or just any industry, you know, you sometimes come across people who tell you how to feel and what to think and who to be and what to wear. And um, I don't want that. So I'm trying, you know, I'm compromising and I'm working with people that I trust and that I love. And I'm willing to, I've learned a bit to ease up on what I want um, in order to like, you know, get the greater vision. But I think that part of being an artist is standing by what you feel. Sorry, this is a bit of a speech. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be such a speech, but um, you know, this is about behind the scenes. I want this to be real for you guys every week and tell you things um, that I'm going through and sometimes play you songs that are not out or unheard, play you covers, play you songs that are out or coming out. Um, and so this is the truth of what it is like to sometimes be an independent artist. And um, and I love you guys and I'm so grateful for this year and these puppies that came into my life. It feels like full circle, circle of life here, you know, um, being related to Gizmo who is like my super, super soul mate dog, you know, of 16 years. Um, anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm gonna play you some songs when I see you next time. We could go see these puppies one more time if anyone is still here, but send me a message. Tell me, you know, what were your resolutions for the year? or How did you wanna feel this year and did you feel it? And what do you wanna feel next year, you know, mostly? Um, let's look at these little gremlins. They play a lot and then they get really sleepy. Look at the muddy paws. Oh God, we're gonna have to clean them. They're so muddy. Oh, muddy paws. Come on! Consider yourself at uh, home. Oliver! Consider yourself out of the family. Oh, yeah. I do love you. That's your little singing you get today. No. Come here. Okay. Yes. Come here. Say hi to the people. <sighs> Telling me I need to rotate. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. This hair is a little crazy today. Um. I love you guys dearly. I um, I hope, thank you for sticking with me this year, getting to know me, um, you know, letting, taking a chance and listening to me and my stuff and me talking. Hal, thank you so much again for having me. I can't wait to do this more in 2019 and like get into a rhythm with it where I can really take you hopefully into the studio and um, tell you there's some cool things. I'm recording a cool song that, um, with a cool producer soon. So I get to introduce you to that person and you probably know some of the stuff they've done. So that should be cool. Um, but for now, I just kind of took December, end of December, I shot a second music video. And then, hey, um, I took it kind of easy. So, cause I got a little burnt out in like October when I kept going and then I hit December and I was like, I'm freaking exhausted. So I um, finished my music video the second week shooting it and then conked out so um i love you guys tell me what you have in store next year 
Um, tell me what your favorite song that I released this year was. I just realized that my song Abuser got added to like a top 250 best songs list of 2018, which is really cool. And I was the 2018 person of a year for person of the year for another blog, which is the first time that's ever happened to me. Um, so tell me which one of the songs I released this year was your favorite. I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, um, whatever, Amazon, everything under Kara Connolly, K-A-R-A-C-O-N-N-O-L-L-Y. And um, let's keep in touch. I want to hear what's going on for you too. So, mwah, goodbye.